around Kalfu's house and then we are cooking rainbow trout. Kalfu has this dish once a week and last time I tried it, I liked it. So today I have decided to cook it for Kalfu and Auntie Sarah. The rainbow trout adults normally grow up to 2.3 kg in riverine environments, while lake dwelling may reach 9 kg. But today we will be cooking an 800 gram trout. Freshwater trout are generally blue green or olive green with heavy black spotting over the length of their body. Adult fish have a broad reddish stripe along their lateral line from gills to the tail. Rainbow trout are predators with a varied diet and will eat nearly anything they can capture. They eat fish eggs and adult forms of terrestrial insects like ants, beetles, grasshoppers and hookers. Rainbow trout is popular in western cuisine. Both wild caught and unfished fish are eaten. It is a tender flesh and a mild, somewhat nutty flavour. It has a reddish or orange flesh. Rainbow trout is very slimy and has little scales that you have to take out before you cook it. If it's cooked well, it tastes very good. After I finish scraping, I now have to wash it so any loose scales come off. Now I have washed it, the key to cooking the fish is to get the black bits out, like this, so the fish doesn't taste bitter once you eat it. Now that I have finished cleaning the fish, you have to make cut the fish three times in this part, so the fish cooks easier. Make sure you don't go to the bone or else the fish will taste bitter. Once you have finished cutting the fish on both sides, it's time to do the next step. Now it's time to add some other ingredients. These ingredients include ginger, garlic, and cut spring onions. Before you cut the ginger, you have to peel the skin. After you've peeled the ginger, you have to cut the ginger into smaller slices. Once you cut the ginger, you have to put it in a bowl. To do the garlic, you cut the knob off and then you put the knife on top of it to remove the skin easier. Once you've peeled the garlic, you cut the garlic. We have a lot of garlic here because Kofu loves garlic. Once you've finally cut the garlic, you transfer it into the bowl with the ginger. Then you transfer a couple of handfuls of spring onions into the bowl. And you mix it around. For this fish, we use three different types of sauces. Soya sauce, Robin Vale Estate olive oil. It's the best 
olive oil in the market and also sesame oil. You add two tablespoons of soya sauce into the mix. Then you add four tablespoons of olive oil. Add two tablespoons of sesame oil. Then we add salt and pepper to the mix. Then mix the mixture thoroughly with a spoon. Once this is thoroughly mixed, you get enough aluminium foil. About this much to wrap the fish and the ingredients together. To do this, you grab the fish, put it on the aluminium foil, and then you get the mixture and put it on the fish. A good tip is to put some of the mixture inside the fish so it tastes better. The next step is to rub the ingredients onto the fish itself, like this. Now you wrap the aluminium foil on, around the fish. Once it's done, you transfer the fish onto the tray. Next, get a cup of water, pour it into the tray. This will help so the fish doesn't dry out when it's cooking. You have to turn the oven timer on to around 40 minutes. The temperature to 180 to 200 degrees and put the fan on. Once the oven has reached its max, its temperature, you have to put the fish in the oven. While the fish is cooking, it is important to clean all the dishes so you don't have to do this later. Now I will teach you how to cook rice. The first step is to pour three cups of rice grains into the bowl. Dude, that's a lot of rice. Yeah, just gonna... Now we wash the rice so all the starch comes out and it makes the rice taste better. More water. More. More. Okay, now we have to remove the water. We must we might have to wash it two or three times. Once you have removed the starchy water, you need to add an amount of water to the rice. To find out how much water is needed, my grandmother has shown me this little trick. First you even out the rice, and then you press your hand against the rice, your palm against the rice, then you add enough water, so the water level 
is around this height. So now, now you take it out and then you're good. Now you're ready to cook the rice. You put it on in the rice cooker. You put on the lid. And then you turn it to rice. While we're waiting for the food to cook, I'm going to do a little dance. Now the fish is ready, we have to take it out of the oven. To check whether the fish is cooked or not, you have to put the knife in here and push. If the meat comes away freely from the bone, it is cooked. I think it is cooked. I think we're ready to give this fish a go. Very good. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please subscribe to this channel. It only took 10 minutes to finish all this and I because I love it so much.